Hello everyone, this is Tyler with Diesel Laptops, and I'm sitting here in April of 2017, and I'm going to talk to you today about the new release of Texa. They have come out with their new truck software, version 41, and there's been quite a few improvements. So I'm going to walk you through them all, and we'll do a little bit of uh, shortcutting as we go through here as well, just so you don't have to watch me click and wait for things to load. I'm doing a lot of demo modes. So the very first thing I want to show you is something that happens no matter what you connect to. It has to do with the dashboards and the parameters. So let's just hop into here and we're just going to connect to this Cummins and simulation mode here so I can show you what they've done. So one of the great things about Texa is it shows you all the sensors, all the values of all the position switches and everything you need to see that's going on on the vehicle for that particular ECU that you're connected with. So as soon as we connect here, you'll see we're connecting to a Cummins EPA 2007 and newer engine is what we're simulating with. And what Texas has done a great job with, it's kind of helping you decipher this parameter tab. So let's go over to parameters and you will see we have 135. So it gets kind of difficult to try to decide what to do with that. So they've put some great things in here. So I'm going to hit this filter button and, oops, sorry, let's not hit the filter button. Let's hit this favorite parameter button. And as I go in here now, you'll see I made one here called Tyler's Test Values I was playing around with. But now they have a bunch of default ones. So they have default ones for after treatment, after treatment particulate filter, after treatment regeneration, and so on and so on and so on. So you would ask, why did they do these things? They did these things so that they could show you or help you when you're trying to diagnose certain issues. So instead of having to go in there and create your own favorite groups, they just made them for you, a bunch of default ones, which is very great. So it saves you a bunch of time and they are all universal. So anything that's in here will be on any single engine that you connect with. All right. So next, I'm going to take a little break here in the video and we're going to show you uh, something else. One of the new features with truck version 41 has to do with the bi-directional commands for the Freightliner cab and chassis controllers. So that's right. We can now do the commands and look at everything going on with the cab and chassis. So if you look in the upper left corner, it says parameters 97 of 297. We are reading 297 different parameters and position switches on these Freightliner cab and chassis systems. So right now we're hooked up to 2013 Detroit. Let's click on fault codes. You'll see we got both the weird code and the SPN and FMI. Those SPN and FMIs are the actual OEM flash codes for Detroit cab and chassis controllers for Freightliner, and they are in all of our repair information our ECU info tab and now let's go look at activations these are all the cool things you can do the commands so we'll kinda of go through the list here a little bit and then we'll pick one of these to run and this is a good one the electric horn this will actually with the computer make the horn honk on the truck and basically you just load it up and you hit the confirm button and the horns honking and we hit cancel and we stop it so that is the real quick and dirty on the full bi-directional controls for the Freightliner and Western Star cab and body controllers. So in version 41 now, they've made a couple more enhancements to the ABS systems. One of kind of the black holes of the ABS system previously was Bendix. It was a read-only system, but they've really fixed that now for everything they've done. So we're just going to show you Bendix ABS, and we're not going to actually go into it, but I'm going to go over here to activations and then adjustments and coding and show you what's in there. So if I go to activation tests, you can now see when I go to brakes, we have a whole bunch of different commands that will now populate and show up when you are actually connected to the vehicle and running commands. So all these things can now be done as well on the Bendix ABS. And if I go back one more system here and go to adjustments and coding, you go to brakes, you'll see there's some more of them there included as well. So Bendix now fully bi-directional. Everything has been added to it that should be in there, including some calibration and self-configuration stuff. They've also made improvements to the Wabco system. So Wabco has a ton of different systems. <clears throat> they have both their anti-braking system and their electronic braking system. All of those are in here along with their suspension ECUs. So in ABS, they've now added and done more functionality with this hydraulic power brake system. So we don't have a demo mode to go in here, but I can assure you uh, there's some more variations discovered and they added some bi-directional commands in there for everybody as well. You'll see these hydraulic power brake systems uh, commonly on medium duty trucks Freightliner, International, Ford, Chevy, Dodge, etc. Uh, the electronic braking system is also well covered in here as well. And along with any kind of suspension stuff. You'll see the ECAS usually on buses. So those are in here. So again, we'll pause it and we'll show you a couple more. 
on Peterbilt and Kenworth trucks with Packard engines, they have now added the cab controller. They've expanded the coverage. We've always been read-only, but now this is the first iteration where we're going to see some bi-directional commands. In Texas, telling us in version 42, we'll see a heck of a lot more. So uh, I've already navigated to Peterbilt. Let's go navigate here to Packard. And as I get in here, we're going to go down to Gateway. And you'll see now all the new things that are in Texas. They have this little new symbol next to them, which are very nice so we can see what's going on. So on the Gateway, you can now see that we have some commands that we can do here as well. To give you an idea of what you can do on this, with a little film strip, uh, not the film strip, it's at the Start button, and then we'll do the detailed information. And this is a feature only we have on our special demo machine setup, so we can kind of see what it can do or what it can't do. And let me... Just let it load up here for a second. So let's go over here to faults, 215 define, activations. So now we have some tests and commands. And again, it's the first iteration. More bi-directional commands coming as well. And then settings, we have a bunch in here as well that we can run to. So PACAR, some bi-directional commands have been added to it. Uh, but we can talk about the GMC and Chevy stuff next. So let's go back over here to medium duty stuff. So I'm going to go over here to medium duty. And let's go look at Chevrolet. And we'll go down here to diesel injection. So you can see we went to Silverado. The Silverado series runs the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax. That's always kind of been a black hole with Texa. And we never really had the coverage for it, but we do now. So you can go into here, uh, activations and tests, and we'll go to engine. And you'll see we have a whole bunch of commands we can now do on the Chevrolet Silverado with the Duramax 6.6 .6 liter. And there is a pile of them. And that's just the, the activations. If I go to adjustments and coding, there's even more of them listed there as well. All right, and that's not just for the Chevy Silverado. Uh, by the way, the Allison transmission has been added for it, and the ABS has been added for it as well. So if we go back here to GMC, which is in the Chevy family, or GM, I should say, and we go to the Sierra, we will see the 6.6 .6 liter is now covered here as well for the O2 and up. So we have the same ABS, transmission, and diesel injection coverage that we had with those previously. Uh, and one of the other ones while I'm poking around here in medium duty is Dodge. So Texas is really the only tool I know that has Dodge with Cummins coverage. They added it in version 40, which came out about three months ago. And they added the, uh, well, let's go back, the 02 through 08. So they added all those commands. And what was missing was the 2009 and newer. So version 41, here it comes full-blown giving you all the coverage so that's typically the way Texa operates when they add a new something to it um, in this case like the RAM stuff you usually see the first iteration maybe read only a couple commands usually the next version out is when they have the full-blown everything's in there for you to work with so as you can see on this Dodge Ram we can pretty much touch all the different ECUs that could possibly be on this vehicle including the engine and again the engine is the Cummins so Texas only going to cover your Dodge stuff but again this is the only tool I know of that's even covering this stuff, which is awesome because uh, there's just not much out there for other people to really compare it to. So I go to activations and tests and I go to engine. You'll see the, the list of commands that we're scrolling through here is quite extensive. All right. And let's, this is the, this is the new one. So this is the 09 and newer. So, oh, sorry. Adjustments and coding. Engine. All right. More commands. So yes, they are they are all in there. Uh, one of the other things they have done with this new release is added more dashboards and more wiring diagrams. So the bulk of those uh, wiring diagrams have been added under the Ford F-Series. So if I click down here to American Medium Duty, and I go to Ford, and I go to F-Series Super Duty, uh, they've added dashboards for the 6.7, 7.3, and the 6.4. So they all have wiring diagrams now for the engine, on the 6.7, they added the ABS, airbag, automatic transmission, and AC systems. They also added some sprinter wiring diagrams and some international wiring diagrams as well. The dashboards are a big thing for people. They really like those. Let's hop in here real quick, and we'll, we'll go to my favorite. I always pick Freightliner with a Cummins, just I'm more familiar with Cummins than anything else. So let's go here to diesel injection, hit the start menu, and go back into demo mode. So uh, what dashboards are going to be is a graphical representation of that parameter tab. So if you remember when I first started this video on the parameter tab, we had tons of different parameters listed there. I think it was 175, give or take, 
what they've done now with the dashboards is just add more of them. So some of the ones they've added are Freightliner vehicle lighting, Kenworth and Peterbilt cabin modules, Eaton Transmission has some now, Hino, GMC 6.6 liters, Isuzu engines, Dodge Ram, and Ford F-Series all have more dashboards in them as well. So as we get into here now, I'm going to go on the parameters tab and you'll see my little dashboard icon down here. I'm going to click on it. And these are what the dashboards are. So they're a graphical representation of these things on this parameters page. So a favorite with a lot of people, highly upgraded, a ton more in there. So the everything I've covered is not a complete extensive list, but it does give you kind of an indication of what has been added to it. So great update from Texa, free for everybody that is within their first year of purchasing the tool. And as your, uh, your first year, you can obviously buy a support package from us and get updated and get going. So thank you very much for watching and we appreciate your time.